Welcome to Studio 41. Joey Stuckey here with you. It is Georgia Music Month in September, and in honor of that, I have the mayor of Macon with us, Robert Rickard, here to talk about Georgia music. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm delighted to be here with you, Joey. You know, thank we, you. Oh, you're so welcome. We've known each other a long time, and I know you're a fan of, of Georgia music like I am. And I was just wondering, you know, as someone who is a, our leader uh, in town, what, this, what do you think about when you think of making its place in history and, and its role in Georgia music? How varied it is, Joey. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, musical heritage of Macon isn't just in one genre. Whether you want to talk about rock and roll and uh, Otis Redding and yeah. Little Richard and, and all of the people from that era or whether you want to move into Southern Rock and the Allman Brothers and a lot of others. We have such a, a varied musical history. I guess that's the first thing I think of and yeah. I think that's why we're so popular because so many different people find so much to like about making music. That's so true. You know, when, when you say making Georgia, a lot of times people are not sure where you're talking about. You say, oh, it's an hour south of Atlanta, whatever. But the minute you mention Otis Redding, Almond Brothers, Little Richard, Wet Willie, uh, who are actually going into the Hall of Fame this year, um, they, they know. Yeah. They know. That, oh, I've heard of them. I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They know. All of a sudden, <laughs> we're like the place to be. Yeah, right. Uh, when, when, when you were growing up, you, you know, you're from this area. Who were you listening to from Macon when you were? When Believe you were it or not, I give a lot of credit uh, for, for Macon's uh, music success to uh, uh, Alan Walden and Phil. Uh, I don't Walden. blame you at all. Uh, back when I was in high school, uh, they were promoters on a small uh, scale yeah. and would find bands to come play for our high school fraternity parties. Yeah. And one of the favorites was uh, uh, the the Pine Topper, Johnny Jenkins and the Pine Topper. Absolutely. And uh, one time Otis Redding even came to play with Johnny Jenkins and the Pine Topper for So, like I say, Alan and Phil Walden did a lot to introduce young people uh, in Macon and to bring acts uh, to play for fraternity parties. We had high school fraternities in Macon back then. Yeah. And I really think that just having those early gigs yeah. uh, may have given legs, if you will, uh, to some of the groups that got together and turned out to be so famous later on. You know, I totally agree with you because th this, these are the kind of stories that you're telling now that people talk about in New York City when they were, when they were seeing, you know, uh, all, all the famous people there getting started. And we have that same history. Sure, we do indeed. And listen, we're going to continue our conversation uh, on next week's Studio 41. We're going to be talking more to celebrate Georgia Music Month with our mayor.